Weathering the weather with Ed. Sometimes he's cranky, sometimes he's goofy, but he's always got a joke. Before I met him, I said meteorology. Hey, guy, that's not for me. But now I'm weathering the weather with Ed. All right, bravo. All right, all right. Sign her up. That's Christy B., right? That's, that's Plus, if I gave you a real name, we'd be on all day. That is definitely right, her name. All right, Christy B. All right, great. All right, bravo. Sign her up. Okay. All right. So now don't give them more than what I'm getting. You're gonna, you can get triple my salary. Zero. All right. So now that we've introduced Christy B. and that amazing <laughs> opening jingle that she's amazing. written Amazing. She it's wrote amazing. that too. I, I think I said that. She's under therapy, right? No. <laughs> well, you are. Sorry. I am. Sorry, yes, Christy I'm B. the one under therapy. Wonderful. Well, welcome to today's episode of Weathering the Weather with Ed. I am Mark Rushlow, and he is not. And. Really? Yeah. I'm Eddie C. Eddie C. <laughs> that's right. Um, and if you Jeez. want to ask us questions about the weather, actually, if you want to ask him questions about the weather, probably a, a better idea. Yeah, we got to get viewers for this, though. Yes. If I'm you're watching, of... let us know, okay? Even if you don't have questions, you just got to let him let know. Us know. I'm tired of plugging into the YouTube and getting the numbers up. Come on. All right. So, yes, if you have questions, send them to us at weathered at westfordcat.org. You're yelling. Stop it. Sorry. I know, they're right the there. The hair goes off. The, well, you know that. The hearing becomes acute. <laughs> Thank you. He I called me snowflakes. acute. I didn't say you're acute. The hearing becomes acute. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, all right. I remember it differently. Anyways. I say that in the best light possible. Today's episode yes, is okay. about what? Stability. Stability. But first. How but ironic. First, why is it ironic? Because I'm a stable? Hey, Swine. you said it. You, you agree with me. We have corrections for Oh, we do. Hi. We do have corrections. Well, yes. About last last week's yes, show. Yes, last two weeks ago. Last two weeks ago's show. All right. The, the first correction is, why am I here? Now, the first correction is uh, the wall cloud. Yeah, I, I, I screwed that up. Hey, no. No, it wasn't your fault because the whole page was just about wrong. <laughs> and where you got it from. Yeah, but where did I get it from? Tell Noah, baby. Noah, that's <laughs> right. The government, you know, with the, the, they're too busy f with the phones. They couldn't get the pictures right. Noah screwed it up. Not, Not so my loud. fault. Be in, be in focus, though. It'll be your number. All right. All right. Uh, uh, accidentally, what's this for? Accidentally, the uh, picture. Oh, ac oh, there I am. Accidentally, accidentally. A, a picture of a, of a uh, tornado was put up. That's not the wall cloud. But if you can see now that that's the wall cloud of a hurricane. Thank you. Also a hemicane, if it happens to be a male. It's a beautiful wall cloud, too. Yeah. What are you falling up? You're married. What are you doing? Hey, right. you know, I can look at wall clouds. I'm not done. I'm not... Hmm, it's raining. I'm not... <laughs> you ought to put a roof here. Now, there was another error. The Cuyahoga River. Cuyahoga. It's a, the river... This, uh, I said it was in 1969 that it uh, caught fire. I said 1966. Can't you correct it? It was 1969. It caught fire. And the photo that was up there is from 1952. You couldn't update it? <laughs> and, but here's the real punchline. We didn't know. Oh, there we are. The punchline is that uh, 13 times starting in 1868, the river caught fire. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So, yes, I'm done with the corrections. That's it? I can't believe that's all we screwed up. What you mean we, white man? Hey, you said... <laughs> That's from Tonto with the... You said it wasn't my fault, no, so... I, I wasn't. See? Look I can't it. remember everything. All right, so today we're talking about... What do you mean we? Oh, yeah, go Today ahead. you're talking about atmospheric stability. Well, I can really hear the rain. Now, I had one question right off the bat. <laughs> yes. Wouldn't atmospheric instability be more interesting? If you're talking about me, yeah. Well, wouldn't go it? Go ahead. Why? It doesn't matter what you call it. No, we call it stability, but you can say there's several types of stability. Or insta absolute stability, absolute instability, and conditional instability. So there. Absolutely. You, now, are you going to explain what each of those are? Or? Maybe if we get there. Oh, okay. Already been 10 hours before we started. <sighs> Go ahead. You're so mean. Boy, it's really raining. All right. So do you want to start with your questions or, or questions from the audience? What are they going to be on? Stability. Well, how can that be if I don't exp do what you want? All right. I'm not getting paid anyway, so do what you want. <laughs> this question is from Vladimir Putin. Yeah. Hey. All right. It's like, nice Sorry. to get a star on here. Uh, I, He's got a sense of humor, does he? I, I don't think so. 
I, I tend to think that this probably isn't from Vladimir Putin. He's very just smart. Just to be clear, though. he's very smart. Uh, is he? He is. Well, yeah. listen to his question, and then you tell him if he's smart. What, hey, hey, I don't. I'm diplomatic. What is stability's effect on precipitation? Well, it's raining hard right now, so it's unstable the air. Okay, when it's sunny. Are you raining? What? But well, I haven't, I've gone to the bathroom before this. All right, so go ahead. So, uh, what was the question? What is stability's oh, effect on precipitation? It, it, it's more unstable the air, and you have enough moisture available, the uh, available or whatever, and you get more precipitation. When the air is stable, you don't get any. Maybe drizzle, you know, mm. if it's cloudy, low overcast. Yes. Oh, look at that! I had that question was twice. Was Obama going to come in now? No. Uh, here's another question. From Lee them. in Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ed, could you explain lifted index and capes? Did you say lithium? Lifted, oh, lifted index. index. On cape? And capes. All and right. That's all, ca all capitals, all right, by the way. All right, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> You're killing me, you know? All right, cape, get ready, folks, because this doesn't make any sense to you. C A P E, it's convective available potential energy. Whoa, now, huh? I told you. Now, here, let me try to put this in English. Oh. It, it is the measure of the amount of energy available for convection. Now, what the heck is convection? Think of a convection oven. Heats up on the bottom, the air rises, and then it cools, goes across, and then sinks and comes down and keeps going. In the, in the, in the sky, you'd see cumulus, or cumulonimbus nimbus clouds. Mm -hmm. All right. Cape is directly related to the maximum potential vertical speed. What the hell? This is in English? An updraft is what you get in a thunderstorm. The air is rising. Mm -hmm. This downdraft comes out. Rising. So... The, the more it's, the faster it's rising, the more it's exciting. Bad word. Thus, higher values indicate greater potential for severe weather, all right? And as with other indices or indicators, there is no threshold values, that correct English, above which severe weather becomes imminent. When estimating, this is for thunderstorm, when estimating thunderstorm probability, one should always have a look at the lifted index. And by the way, I'm going to read the lifted index here, all right? Go ahead. Hum while I try to find it. <laughs> Don't call us, we'll call you. Put Christy B on again. I had this number. I know it's good to be prepared. All right, here we go. All right, I knew you'd find it. Eh, Just put forget that anywhere. it. The lifted index. The LI, a common measure of atmospheric instability. You happy now? I'm very happy. You, negative values indicate instability. The other one was positive values. All right. So the more negative, the more unstable the air is. Well, it must be negative. And the stronger the updrafts are likely to be with any developing thunderstorms, like yesterday, for instance. Whoa. Mm. However, there are no magic numbers or threshold uh, lifted index values which severe weather becomes imminent. In other words, good luck. They both do the, they do, they're the two indicators. And you know how long it took me to find capes? I found, I found capes in a store. <laughs> I, you know, superhero capes? Huh? Superhero capes? We got super. Yeah, I got two in the closet. Go. On. Yeah, okay. Call Thank that you. One go. Well, that certainly was exciting. Throw this away now. All right, now I have a whole bunch of stuff that you've prepared. What does that mean? It oh, go ahead. It means that you put it together. I never put anything together, I break them up. Okay. All right, go ahead. All right, first one uh, What are the three states of matter? Wyoming, Ohio, and Connecticut. It's not what you wrote here. Oh, wait a minute, I'm wrong. It's Wyoming, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Still oh. not what you wrote here. Oh, the three states of matter. Republican, independent. No, all right. Is that the house coming down? It's a truck. That was a truck going by. Thank you. There are three states of matter. Solid. An example of solid would be snow. No, I'm not doing a snow job. What are you looking to make like a snow job? And, uh, or ice. Ice. Breathing ice is rain. definitely solid. We Liquid, which is rain, or rain, which we just had. Water. Just They're all water. This <laughs> is terrible. And vapor. An example is water vapor. You cannot see water vapor. Although I'm beginning to think that you can. Clouds. No. Clouds no. are water droplets. Water droplets, not water vapor. Or ice crystals. We did clouds already. Remember from both sides now? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. From up and down and in and out. Got it. I remember that. We didn't hear the conversation. Go ahead. Come on, will you? All right, sorry. We, we, we've got 17 minutes left, it's so. Number two. Well, pick All right, it here up. we go. Latent heat of condensation. What the heck is that? All right. 
The heat energy, you know a puddle disappears? Or a poodle? I'm afraid, uh, yeah. Or you got a cat or a doggy in your house? I, yes, you leave, yes. right? You got a lot of water there, you come back, especially on a warm day, and most of the water's gone. And the, you think the dog drank it. Wrong, Oscar. Dog drank a little bit? Some of it. Some of it. A lot of it just evaporated. Yes, okay. and it takes heat energy to uh, evaporate the water. So that heat energy, it goes from liquid to vapor. Liquid, yeah, it's evaporated, the vapor. It's called evaporation. And, and the heat energy is locked into the vapor until condensation takes place. For you, it's saturated, you know, when you're drinking too much. Okay. Oh, sorry. So evaporation causes cooling. Right, and then when you condense the water, the latent heat of condensation comes out. Okay. All right, so uh, that's where some of it came. So your dog or cat didn't drink all the water. Some of it evaporated. Okay. Right. So well, stop saying okay and move on. Okay. I'm, I'm trying sorry. to. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to keep <laughs> this straight in my mind. Okay. What mind? This one right here. <laughs> All right. Well, I heard, will you? Now. I'll... All right, so this one I'm not sure how to form into a question. Forget it. But. Number three. This is number three. When air rises. And it is not, saturated, is not with saturated, saturated with moisture. All right, so you get uh, the air is at the ground, starts rising, and you see a cloud. Mm -hmm. that, that's where you start saturating the air. Means the temperature for you, for the public, would be the temperature and relative humidity are, are the same. But in my parlance, which is just down the street, it's. Uh, when the temperature and the dew point is the same, mm -hmm. are the same. Sorry, we got the English here. And uh, get this out of here. Are the same. So the temp and the dew points are measured uh, moisture in the air expressed as a temperature. All right. Okay. Now, before you now at that time when the air rises, it, it cools off at five and a half degrees Fahrenheit for every thousand feet it rises. So when air rises every thousand feet, if it's not saturated with moisture, it cools off five and a half degrees. That's what I said. You just changed the words around a little. Yeah. Good. Trying to understand. It's this? Called clarification. Sorry, I saw you in a minute. Go ahead. So conversely, what happens if it is it is saturated with moisture? I'm glad you said that. Hmm. And once the you air get, it. you're done. Hmm. <laughs> you're more than one way. When, when the air is saturated, you rise up and you reach saturation. For instance, there's a cloud, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that, then it's, you're releasing the latent heat of condensation. It's called latent because something has to happen to release the heat that was put in. That's condensation. So while the, the air cools by expansion, and so while you're cooling off that way, you're also releasing, releasing the heat energy that was put in. And so that makes it less cooling. So you cool off at only three degrees. Mm. Fahrenheit per thousand feet. I just say five and a half with the other one, right? Yes. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, so the difference between the three degrees and the five and a half degrees is caused by that latent heat of condensation. That's right. Excellent. And it's guilty. All right. Now, when air rises in the atmosphere, how does it actually cool? It cools by expansion. Okay, there's less air up there, so it cools. You want to get cooled off, you got a tire, let the air out. I mean, it smells like rubber, but it's cooling you because it's expanding. True. Good point, huh? Yeah, actually, you know, you ever get one of those canned air cans and you spray, and that can gets really cold? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I should be paid, not you. <laughs> you still in therapy, buddy? Uh, yeah. You're yeah. going to stay there. I got no, no seriously, when, when, you, when you spray, is that, is that related to this? How the What's can coming gets out cold? of the can? Air. I don't know what can't, yeah. It's compressed air. You're talking about the toilet? Yes, it is, because it's- and it comes out. I don't know, the, the air is cool when it comes out, right? Yes. Because it's expanding. It's okay. under pressure. It's, you're under, oh, I'm under God. pressure, shut up. <sighs> I say that in the best life. Wait, sorry, I didn't mean to touch somebody. Don't, don't getting, touch me. Who's getting paid. Your handle Go disappeared. Ahead. Stop it. Sorry. Go ahead. All right. Quiet in the control room again. Did these people, oh, sorry, I hit you again. So there ain't nothing. All right, so I'm, if, a, I'm not a violent man, but you're doing it again. Go ahead. Can I ask a question? No. So if air sinks in the atmosphere, it warms by compression. That's correct, because there's Wait, more uh, air down I here. read it wrong. <laughs> okay, I was trying to read the first one. So anyways, when air sinks in the atmosphere, it warms by compression. Did you say stinks? Sinks. Oh, sinks. Okay. Yes, yeah, sinks. Sinks hot back. And how much does it warm by then? Oh, as soon as the air starts, even if it's saturated, as soon as it starts to... Descend. Whoa! I should be paid a lot for this good English here. Like. 
Mm -hmm. As soon as it descends, it becomes unsaturated, and you warm up at the dry rate, which is 5.5 degrees Fahrenheit per thousand feet. Mm. Okay. Is it? Thank you. It's great. Well, so, we wouldn't go that far. All right. So now I'm, I'm very relieved that we are getting to our three types of stability Not here. Not as relieved as I am. I asked you that at the beginning, and you, you refused outright to answer my questions. You're going to feel a little pain. You know that? <laughs> Hell, you're going to feel, oh, sorry, gosh, you're going to feel, oh, I touched you again, a lot of pain. Go ahead. I need an adult. There are three types I of need stability. I money. That's what I hate. Stop it. What are the three types of stability? Joe, Phyllis, and Ray. Oh, wait a minute. That's not right. It's absolute stability, all right? No Absolutely. matter what you do, the, the air will sink. and do. Not, that's when the, air, when the air is warm aloft. Are you going to put that stupid loft up again? Well, if Rent you want it, me baby. to. Uh, do it. All right. I'm lonely so, without it. Go ahead. Okay, so what's... Don't say okay, go ahead. So we have absolute stability when the air aloft is warm. Just well, absolute instability when is the when air the air is cold aloft. Thank you. It's like taking nitro and shaking well before using. What happens? Even you know this. Boom. Thank you. What is the third type? You need more Can... than therapy, I'm telling you right now. Let me get a pill out of my pocket. I didn't before I started this show. Well, I, I, well that's because you're working with a star. Oh, that must be it. Who's not paid. All right. Conditional... You hear that, Ira? All right, go ahead. <laughs> Conditional instability is what? That's me. All right. Usually, it's waning again. You, usually, the temperature is between the dry rate, which is five and a half per thousand, mm -hmm. and the wet weight, which is four... The, the, the wet weight? The wet weight, <laughs> which is 3.0 per thousand feet. Boy, he looks bald. 3.0 per thousand. So it's in between. Mm -hmm. it, it, as long as you don't get saturated, the air, the air stable. However, if you get satur if you get saturated, it becomes unstable. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank everybody for not sending in questions. And no, well, they have sent some in. Go ahead. They have been sent. In fact, I was gonna, I was gonna ask. I think this is a fantastic time to ask this question. This is from Rajani. You got acting. it right. What the heck? Of course I got it right. Ladies and all right, give my hand there. And the reason why I got, got this it right forty thousand times. You were trying to annoy me, and it worked. <laughs> I got this right because I really like your question today. Oh wait a minute! This it's is gonna be an insult. Boy, it's really. Will you turn why off the water? Are you so unstable? Well, it all started at six weeks old. <laughs> I'm from New York City, baby. And that's why you're. That's unstable? why I'm unstable. Okay. All right. You be too. And I'm a Mets fan. What else? Oh, they lost last night again. Oh, my God. Sorry. They can have a chance to lose three games in less than 24 hours. Yes. All right. So in, in our last eight or nine minutes that we have, can we... Can we Wait can, a minute. It's not my last, are they? <laughs> who knows? Did the doctor call you? Now, can we go through some of these questions? It's damn right we can. Some of these are reflective from last, last uh, topic. Don't, don't use big words with me. Sorry. Right. Last. It's a big word. Topic. No reflective. Oh, that's quite the one. reflective, too. Okay, so here we go. We're going to talk about some hurricanes because that was our last show. We yeah, were you getting it right? Shows. Yes, go ahead. Yes, hurricanes, the big spinny things. Got it. What gives <laughs> a hurricane its strength? I double strength? chin there, too. Wow. Oh, well, at I, least I didn't mention your stomach. <laughs> like a bowl of jello. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Said that last car now. Get some composure. Focus. All right. Sam from Nashua Community College really wants to know what gives a hurricane its strength. The uh, tropical water. That's what gives it. Has to be at least 81 degrees uh, Fahrenheit for it to form and six degrees away from the uh, equator. Then six we have degrees the of separation. What is this, a sermon? The six degrees of Kevin Bacon? No. I'm Anything? Jewish. I don't eat bacon very right, often, okay? <laughs> Anywho. All right. It, no, yes. It, it's the warm water, the tropical water. When it goes over uh, uh, water that's around here, it starts uh, get changing characteristics. Mm hmm. Comes Jewish. Oh, sorry. All right. All right. What's Next question. Go ahead. What is the ITCZ? It's called the Intertropical Convergence Zone. Mm. And what is it? I don't know. It's when the, the air comes together, see? The winds are different on either side. You get convergence, and the air starts to lift. Okay. And you're just asking for trouble. 
You can find it very easily. It should, on, a, on a full disk satellite, you should see um, clouds lined up along the uh, zone of convergence. And this time, you want to check it with me before you put anything up? No. Okay, why no. not? We just correct next time. Go well, ahead. Who'd have thought NOAA would be wrong? Hey. Well, it's government. Why should it be wrong? Okay. All right, so I have another one. How far away from the equator does a tropical system have to be before it can have rotation start? Six degrees. Six degrees. That's, That's how you had the, the six, six degrees, degrees of celebration. Celebration? Celebrate. Cel or I'm celebrex. Not. All right, go ahead. Uh, I'm not going to go there. Don't you start. All right. It's still raining unless you have a problem. You know, nobody can hear that at home except you. They, they think you're insane. What do you mean, think? <laughs> Sure. It's really You're not raining, guys. You're even more insane to be really. with me. Focus. All right, focusing. All right, here's from Stuart in Wayland, Mass. Not again. Again. Lightning happens so quickly. Don't say lightning when it's raining hard. <laughs> Why does thunder go on for a longer period oh, of time? Oh, for God's sakes, i got to read it. I left it in the car. Uh-oh. All right, because there's different... I think we stumped Professor. There's di Shut up. There's different... I left it in the car, you miserable thing. There are different types of uh, thunder, all right? There's clap thunder. Watch it. <laughs> There's rolling thunder. So you can have a thunder. So which one do you have? The clap or the thunder rolling? You're going to. Sick of it, cow. <laughs> you know, this is really. We're going to be off the air, you slime bucket. <laughs> All right. You, sometimes you hear rolling thunder. It could be different distance where you have it. If different parts get. The heck was that? Wasn't that a flick of the light? I think he blinked. Did I? I, I try not to. All right. You, you can have the different parts. Of, you can have the uh, thunder reverberate. Wow, reverberate. Today's word Whoa, is reverberate. Talking about big words. Watch it. Expeditious. It's reverberating in, in the cloud. You're getting echoing back and forth. Mm -hmm. and, and you can get or just a quick shot of it. All right. So you can get variations that way. Okay? Mm -hmm. But if you hear a tremendous blast right after the lightning, that means the center of the storm is right overhead. Mm. Okay. But also parts of the, uh, yes, parts of the, uh, say, the stroke can be a different distance from you. Mm -hmm. So you can get that effect, too, uh -huh. that it's one's quicker and one's quicker, right? Who knows, faster, quicker. I'm so slow. Whatever. And so you get the difference in the, the, the sound. You, get the, you can get, you know. Get, because you know, the sound is occurring at different distances from right. you. Right. Get... Yes, thank you. You're welcome. He's not as stupid as he looks. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. Your wife's going, yes, he is. All right. All right. Here's a good question from Sam Bragdon. Who has more hair, Ed or Mark? I do, because I got a high thing scattered up here. Next. Okay. All right. Next you, question. We're taking a beating here. I but know. But you get paid, so. Well, you know, it's because I'm good at what I do. What can I say? I didn't Anyways. go that far. Not when you're with me, pal. This one is about global warming. Again? This is from Christian, and I've been sitting on this question Christian? for Christian from Acton. I don't know. Do you, do you know everybody on the planet? No, of course. We yes, don't. I do. All right, so here's the question. And sorry, Christian, I, I was with asked Moses this in the desert. I told him I got a good feeling about this black fluid here. Are the polar bears going to die? Well, if we keep up global warming, you know where we're all going to be? In a zoo with air conditioning and an ice pool. With the polar bears? Yeah. No, with you. <laughs> so, so, so Christian, they, they, the polar bears are terrible. not going to die. It's terrible. Remember we had the picture of the polar bears with the, the shrinking ice? Mm -hmm. It's not a joke. Oh, I know. I know. People, but a certain party in the U.S. says it doesn't exist. That's what an R. But let's not get political about this. By the way, do you know what Congress did today? They went to the bathroom. That was about it. Okay. Don't Here's forget one. to vote, you know? Absolutely. Let's talk about the clock. It's 241, second period. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. This one's from Vicky. Vicky Carr? No, I don't just she's, says Vicky. She's Jewish or Mexican. Entirely irrelevant, but okay. But it's true. You can look it up. All right, go Here's ahead. the question. How do they figure out the computer models that predict the weather, and what did they do before they had computer models? What do you mean, how do they figure out? Done by computer. They, tends up, they send up balloons every 12 hours with all the equipment on it. It goes into soup. Supercomputers, right? And before that, what it was called, flip the coin, baby. What they, they do? They just kind of look outside and go, hmm. Yeah, because it was very hard without satellites, too. Mm. And radar. Radar? Yeah. Mm hmm. 
All right, so here's a follow-up to that from Buzz Bernard, or Bernard. Bernard, a turkey. Bernard. He's an author. He's also a urologist. I mean a meteorologist. From he Roswell, lives near Atlanta, Georgia. baby. You better watch it. Roswell, Georgia. That's near Atlanta. Well, my meds are today. I can't take it. Go ahead. Why is the Euro model touted as better than the U.S. model, particularly in the medium range? Because it works. Where it's ours, we don't know. It, that's the model that got the hurricane... Stanzi, Sandy, it had the, tra the track correct eight days in advance, and hmm. ours kept wavering. Sort of like, uh, you know, most people, well, I don't know. So do you know why sort it's like more accurate? I think uh, somebody told me that they updated the computers. We haven't got time for that because we're sending money to uh, the Bronx to clear, no, we're hmm. sending money all over the place. All right, here's one from your book printer buddy, Ken. Har. Hey, Ed. How yes. do you know there is a storm coming before it, it, it has even formed? The computer models. Pick it up. What are you laughing about? Oh, it's just I funny. Just how, it what are you doing? I don't know. I'm, all right, take it off. Give me the stripper music. What, <laughs> what do you want? It's because the computer models pick these things up. They've got to look for consistency. So they're basically looking at things that have already happened, that have been logged, and they're looking for no, similarities. No, no, computer models. No, that's analog. We don't do that anymore. You put the, the data that the, the balloons came in. Everybody sends it up, mm -hmm. even everybody. And, and the, the data goes into the supercomputers, and they come out with maps. And they go forward in time. But some models don't do it too well. Hmm. Some have it like a quirk. They leave a, a, a 13 seconds. They leave a trough, a you know, dip, they have a, a, a in behind, a trough behind. Others don't. And so you've got to figure out which is better. There's a GFS model. Good luck. Mm -hmm. And it's been beaten by the European. The only time the Europeans. So are we going to abandon our model and go with the European? Well, some do. Good. Some don't. If it works good. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. You always feel like a nut. All right. I have one more question real quick. We're out of time, but here's a quick question. A uh, question for Mark. Are you signal? And that's what? what <laughs> hey, this a is question for, for Mark? Are, that's you. Are you single? What, what? Look, right that. there. And that's from Tyler in Nashua. And, oh my and, gosh. And I, I just want to. I just, <laughs> Tyler, you better knock it off here because this is getting dangerous. I, I just, oh, yeah, I just want to say I'm, I'm, I'm not going to talk about my personal life on camera. On, you don't have any. On camera. I'll talk about it. However, if you send a photograph of yourself, oh, this is for anybody, uh, I, I'll answer, okay? That's it. What? What? <laughs> what? Don't this you is just admit uh, you're weathering the weather with, with Ed, Ed, yes, and, uh, yes, and, and video and dating service. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tyler's just kidding because. Oh, of course. Yeah. All right. Yeah, see, look. Right there. Okay. Anyways. That's the ring that was in your nose and it got tired and you moved it over. All right. So next week is going to, or sorry, in two weeks, is going to be what? I have to look. Oh, low pressure areas that are non-tropical. I would say extra tropical, but I'd have to explain that. Of course. They're non-tropical. Okay. They're cold in the center. Sort of like you. Cold in the center. Your wife told me. Oops, send, I gave it away. Send in your questions, weather at, at westfordcat.org. Don't forget but, to watch. And by the way, can we take time off from the Bruins? And the Red Sox. Absolutely. To go look at and review what's going on. And by the way, I want to thank everybody for sending nothing in. I'm getting really bitter about this. I just want to mention this. Diseases don't take the summer off. Is that clear? You, you agree with me with that? I agree with you with that. Thank you. And here's the book. And here's the book. Sell the book again. Right there. Tell them about the meeting on the... Uh, Send in which meeting? 27th. The 27th. 7 o'clock here. 7 o'clock, that's right. 27, 7 o'clock here is the Westford Cat annual meeting. Not Hyena, not Hyena, but Cat, right? I changed it. Westford Cat, exactly. Yeah, and, and, and you're going to have star power there. No, not Tom Brady. So Moi. we got to get going. We're out of time. I don't have to go anywhere. I went before. We'll oh, sorry. see you next time. Bye bye. You're going to fade the block here? What's going on? We're gonna we're gonna Fade, zoom baby. out really slowly. Zoom. I can't. I'm gonna zoom. You don't have to do anything. It's Don't do raining. all the work. Look at that. Weathering the weather with Ed. Sometimes he's cranky. Sometimes he's goofy. But he's always got a joke. Before I met him, I said meteorology. Hey, guy, that's not for me. But now I'm weathering the weather with Ed. All right, Christy. It's your name, right? Christy B? <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. All right, so uh, I understand you go to college. I do. 
I go well, to thank you. I, I do. I go to UMass Amherst. Oh, was that in Amherst? It's in uh, Amherst. Yes, yeah. thank you. Thank you. And, and the city's very big, right? Uh, right? Down the street, and that's it. Right. It's okay. uh, it's it's enough. How are the parties there? Fine. Okay. I think there's a lot of them. I'll tell you that. Okay, and uh, what is your major? I'm a sociology what? major. A what? Sociology. A sociology major? Yeah, very. <laughs> oh, sociology. Thank you. And uh, what year are you in? I'm um, in my 15th year here. I'm entering my third year, so I'm a few years behind you. Just a little. Yeah, not much. What? 47 years behind? <laughs> All right. And uh, so uh, what, what do you plan to do when you graduate? I plan to help old people. And, uh, I, I already am helping old people. Whoa, this is not good. You're so, really so what do you do? Uh, what do you plan to do when you graduate? Um, I'm hoping to take a, a, probably a year off or so, uh, and go to grad school. If hopefully you in take Boston. a year off, then go to grad school. Yeah. In Boston, what, what school? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm I heard it at school. It's very good. I think so. Gotten some good reviews. <laughs> it certainly has. But the uh, you know the tuition. It's a skyrocketing. It's sky about a hundred million a year. But it's you know. but you know what? It's for education. I. Don't give me that. I paid in lira, which is non-negotiable. All right. You so, paid in lira? Yeah. So when do you, what do you so what do you plan to get a master's in? Just keep going. Probably sociology. Oh, good. I see a trend here. Yes. All right. So we, you're going to UMass Amherst, the zoo. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, what do you, what else? You act out there, right? Yes. So where'd you learn to sing? Um, I started singing and acting at age five. I started complaining at age two weeks. You know. Surprise! You, surprise. You know, it was New York City. So is there anything else you'd like to, I think we should have a show on the road out there. Yeah? On the You're, road. I, I think so. On the we road. We packed the place. With Ed. That's right. Ed and Christy. Christy B. So is there anything else you'd like to say in the oh, overtime no, I've, that we I've have? I've enjoyed, my, I've really enjoyed my time here. So uh, thank you very much, Professor. Thank you. And am I paying you uh, too much? Oh, you know what? Um, I thought I thought about, you know, telling you that it was a little high. Um, well, you're getting triple what I get. That is generous. Thank you. <laughs> that is generous. Cheap, so cheap. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent speech. Thank I mean, that singer. Sorry. Whatever. Very good. Whatever. No, a singer. Very yeah. good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. All right. Stop flashing the thing because I know we're out of time.